mean by series is a coil, commutator, and a coil, like that. So our commutator is in between here like this. And our this one goes to a brush the way I had it hooked up. And this one went to a brush the way it hooked up. And you can see the brushes here. I'm actually moving that one there. See? Very special arrangement of brushes. So these are the original brushes? These are the original. This is exactly built that people that own the machine told the guy that built it. So this is a replication. This of is a replication of what they tried to build back from that day. From, from the original machine. From the original machine. And, and and the original machine was a a Bosch generator, which was a six volt machine. And then of course there were you know they needed a 12 volt generator so they tried all kinds of 12 volt generators they tried ford and they tried chrysler and they did but the only one that would work was this delco ramey its case and the, and the way it's arranged it's the only one that would work and um so we've got our condenser and so what we're doing is we're catching when we gave this thing a pull, the generator, the motor switching actually, there's, it, there's three windings here, see? So it's tri-filer. Mm. Okay. So one of these was on the generator side and one of these was on the motor side and the other one is part of the circuit that helped charge this capacitor and so this ch capacitor built a great big charge of about between three and four hundred volts because a few claimed that when they didn't build the capacitor right, when Lockridge didn't do the capacitor right, um, it would short between here and there, and he'd have to replace the butcher paper. He'd have to wax it more. It's blocking the So um, we know all this. The thing is that there was no solid state circuitry during just shortly after World War II, uh, we had vacuum tubes, but we really didn't have any transistor circuits. So the mistake that was made here is not that the coils were wound wrong, or the case was done wrong, or the armatures wrong. It's this. They tried to make it solid state switcher. Well, they did successfully get the motor to switch, but this is not the correct way to do it when it was a total mechanical device and using the four brushes to do the switching. So here's an example of everything that they did. And quite a few drawings from people that they talked to about how this machine was put together and where the pole pieces were. And a lot of notes from talking to people. I mean, uh, you say talking to people, talking to what? Talking to people that actually own the machine. Okay. Whose notes are these? Who took the notes? I really don't want to say his okay. name. But anyway, so this is somebody who had access to the original. Yes, yes, this is somebody that had access to the original people that worked for Lockridge. And what Lockridge did is he hired basically people that were, I would say, a little slow in learning, slower than most. In other words, because he was only going to give them one job. 
and that job was to just make this coil and they knew nothing else never never did one of them